Hi, it's Stuart Sutton with One Acre Plus Homes at Remax One. Hope you're having a great day. We're going to look at 2016 home sales statistics for homes on an acre or more. Now, here's a very positive note. Every single stat was positive. Very positive. As a matter of fact, many subdivisions, which I've done stats for, for clients, weren't all positive. The Stats across the board were positive for homes on an acre or more. Let's start with the number of home sales. Home sales increased by nearly 4%, which is positive. You see, there were fewer homes placed in the market in the last several years than there were in the normal market of 2011 and 2012, for example. The fact that fewer homes were placed in the market but more homes sold is very good for homes on an acre or more. In addition, the average price went up about 4.5%. Now, we have a large enough pool of data that this is a pretty valid number. In other words, the average price in a small pool of data, let's just say for only 100 uh, home sales, like in a subdivision, wouldn't really give you an accurate assessment of appreciation. But we have a very large number of sales in the one acre plus arena, so 4.5 is a pretty good uh, uh, number for an increase in the average price. And to support that, the average price per square foot increased about the same. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know for absolute certain, price per square foot is no way to price a home, especially a home on an acre or more. But the fact that that particular stat matches up to the increased average price shows us that that appreciation for homes on an acre or more is running right about 4.5%. The average time in the market fell a little bit. So it wasn't dramatic. It was I mean, hardly any difference at all. Uh, it fell 2%. So homes just sold literally a couple of days faster than they did a year ago. But homes on an acre or more sell in an average of about three months. Some subdivisions in the Austin market can be down in the 20s and 30s as far as number of days. So homes on the acre or more do perform a little differently. Um, the average list of sale, buyers paid a little closer to asking price than they did a year ago. Now, once again, not much but the fact that it's still positive is a very good sign. Now, we also had a higher success ratio. That went up nearly 17%. Let me tell you what that means. When a home goes on the market, what are the chances of it reaching closing? 71.3% in any given year. Uh, well, I'm sorry, 71.3% in 2016, and it was 16%, 17% less than that a year ago. So the fact that the chances of getting to the closing table have increased is very good for homeowners on an acre or more. So I think uh, very sincerely that 2017 is going to be another very good year for homes on an acre or more. You can see all homes for sale on one acre or more at oneacreplus.com. Don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything at all. Thanks so much. Make it a powerful day. Bye-bye.